The estimate is somewhere between 5 and 12 million people have atrial fibrillation in the United States. The big problem is if you don't know you have it and your doctor doesn't know you have it and you're having it intermittently, then it still can cause a risk for stroke. And the estimate of the number of strokes caused by patients who don't know they have atrial fibrillation and it's undiscovered is around 50 to 70,000 a year in the United States. So that's the goal, is to prevent those strokes. Okay. So here is a current monitor, which weighs several ounces and has to be sort of worn and put in a pocket or, or on a belt. And then here are the leads that are then to get hooked up to patch electrodes that are put all over the chest. And so the person has to wear this for anywhere from uh, some, this or something similar to this for 24 hours to up to three weeks. This has a battery in it that will last for 24 to 48 hours, and there are other units that last a little bit longer, but the batteries have to be changed. In addition, this has no intelligence, so it just records, and then the data has to be downloaded uh, when you get back to the hospital, and then it has to be reviewed on a workstation, and then when the algorithms make their errors, the technicians have to review that as well before the physician looks at it. So that's the current process. So this is the actual device, and this is not a mock-up. This is an actual functioning device, uh, and this could be put on a patient today. Uh, it's approved by the FDA, for, cleared by the FDA for, for patient use. And the whole device weighs about a quarter of an ounce. As you can see, it's wow. about the size of a Band-Aid. Uh, and there, is a, there are three electrodes on the back. There's a plastic liner just covers the, the adhesive, and then it can be placed on the patient for, for monitoring. And where are the wires on that? None. There aren't any. Thanks. This, this is the electrodes. Inside, there is a computer chip that does all the analysis uh, on board. And I like to say what I've done is create a monitor for this century rather than one for the last century.